Ashish Mehrshi joins us uh, live for more on this story. Uh, Ashish, uh, with uh, P. Chidambaram now joining the chorus for the Congress to name its prime ministerial candidate, uh, surely that 17 January meeting will see some action on that front. Very true. In fact, you know, in fact, uh, the uh, if you remember, the Congress president and the vice president, uh, when they had lost elections, they had very clearly said that it is time that we should announce the prime ministerial candidate. Uh, yesterday, Chidambaram, P. Chidambaram had also very clearly said that, yes, we should come out and say who is the prime ministerial candidate. So it is very clearly uh, evident now that uh, um, Manmohan Singh is not getting the third term. And uh, uh, Manmohan Singh has himself, you know, associates in the prime minister office has confirmed that he is himself not willing to to uh, yeah, take the third term. So it is uh, yeah, time that uh, uh, the Congress announces the prime ministerial candidate, which is very likely that they are going to have they are going to pitch in Rahul Gandhi as the name. Uh, uh, Ashish, I am afraid I have to interrupt you. Uh, I am sorry to do that, Ashish. I am told Rajiv Pratap Rudi is on the phone line uh, with us. Uh, Mr. Rudi, uh, Picha Dumber, I am calling for the co Congress to name its prime ministerial candidate. Almost everyone believes it will be Rahul Gandhi and would likely be named on the 17th of January. Uh, does that affect or upset your plans for the elections? Well, the very fact that Mr. Amram has demanded uh, the, that, uh, that the Prime Ministerial candidate should be named uh, just indicates our position that uh, for the Congress Party uh, reaffirms that the, that the, that the that Mr. Manmohan Singh has been a complete failure. So this reiterates that position. As far as uh, they choosing their prime ministerial nominee, nominee uh, the Congress is limping. It's almost uh, over for all practical reasons, whether on the economic front or on the social front or on a political front. So it doesn't have much meaning who they annoy it as the prime ministerial candidate. Uh, and it has no impact whatsoever and they have already put their best bet when they made Mr. Rahul Gandhi as the vice president, where they wanted him to wanted him to take over the charge. So it's inconsequential whatsoever. In some ways, Rahul Gandhi as a prime ministerial candidate is being seen by uh, as as a game changer, at least within the Congress. They believe that the stances he's taken on things like uh, the ordinance against tainted MPs, uh, on the Lokpal bill, for example, and most recently when uh, he said that the Maharashtra cabinet should not have rejected the Adarsh committee report, uh, they believe that his decisions and his stances on, on these issues uh, will endear him to voters. Well, obviously, if the Congress wants to annihilate him as a prime ministerial candidate, please ask them to do it. We have no problems whatsoever. And the speculations as what he's going to do, we have seen it. And, and it, it's, it is absolutely unpalatable to realize or to assert that he had no role to play in the government. But nonetheless, let, let the Congress annihilate as their prime ministerial candidate. We shall welcome it. Rajiv Pradhar Rudi, many thanks for speaking to headlines today. Uh, Javed Ansari, our national affairs editor, is also on the phone line with us. Uh, uh, Javed, the, not an unexpected re response from Rajiv Pratap Rudi saying the Congress can do what it likes. Uh, the BJP's plans remain al unaltered. Yes, absolutely. It is on predictable lines. The BJP has been goading the, the Congress, as it were, to announce Mr. Rahul Gandhi as the prime ministerial candidate. They wanted this election to be a direct presidential like contest between Rahul Gandhi and Narendra Modi. That game plan appears to have gone a bit awry with the emergence of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. Whether Mr. Arvind Kejriwal himself is a prime ministerial candidate or not, that notwithstanding, the Aam Aadmi Party threatens to steal a bit of the BJP's thunder. So BJP would have been happier if it had been just been a Congress versus BJP contest. Nonetheless, it will be an interesting battle ahead in 2014 the matchup between Narendra Modi and Rahul Gandhi. And it's interesting that you, you talk about that matchup between Narendra Modi and Rahul Gandhi because uh, in, in polls that uh, the India Today group itself has conducted, Rahul Gandhi often emerges behind Narendra Modi, but uh, none of those polls have actually taken into account, at least yet, how Arvind Kejriwal will, uh, will play out and how he might alter uh, all the, the, the dimensions of that, uh, of that uh, fight. The Aam Aadmi Party has the potential of screwing and the BJP's chances, or Mr. Ra, Mr. Narendra Modi's chances of becoming Prime Minister, because even if the, assuming that the, for argument's sake, that the Aam Aadmi Party manages to win a handful of seats, of 30 seats or 20 seats, all those will be the anti-Congress seats, seats that would have, that would many believe would have gone logically to the BJP. So, in in many ways, 
there is reason for the BJP to be worried and to look over its shoulder as far as the Amadmi Party's emergence is concerned. Javed, many thanks uh, for giving us those perspectives there. Our National Affairs Editor Javed Ansari. Ashish Mehrshi is still standing by. Uh, Ashish, you were talking about uh, what your sources in the Prime Minister's office uh, had mentioned uh, to you. He's expected to give a press conference uh, towards the end of this week. He's expected to talk about the UPA's successes, but there will be several questions about his role as Prime Minister and how he was uh, perhaps extremely indecisive. Very true, Pierre. In fact, you know, there is, uh, 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 you may say that uh, there is a crisis of credibility. That is what Prime Minister has been facing in the past. There have been many achievements uh, as a Prime Minister. But at the same time, uh, the entire government, the Congress government, has been tainted of big scams like the 2G, the CWG and the coal scam. Uh, and there have been many other. But at the same time, as Javed was saying, both BJP and the Congre uh, and the Aam Aadmi Party have been targeting the urban youth. They have been targeting the urban people who have the expectations that there should be an alternate government where there is no corruption but here if you see there is a comparison if you compare Arvind Kejriwal with Narendra Modi uh, here uh, both are, ta are targeting the Congress they are going to get the anti-Congress vote but at the same time what they are what they uh, are what, uh, what they are telling the voter is that uh, one is saying that I'm going to give you uh, uh, you know a big development uh, plan in place and, and on the other hand Arvind Kejriwal is saying that I'm going to also give you a development plan but that is going to be without corruption. So here, uh, obviously, uh, uh, yeah, you know, uh, uh, Narendra Modi's uh, chances as far as Arvind Kejriwal, because Arvind Kejriwal has uh, very clearly said that, you know, Aam Aadmi Party is going to fight the Lok Sabha elections. So chances, uh, as we were uh, thinking that Narendra Modi might have a cakewalk, it won't be that easy for him as of now. Ashish Mehrshi, many thanks uh, for the news there from New Delhi.